Just a quick reminder before we get into the lesson to download the hands-on lab exercises that accompany this complete CCNA course. I'll include the link in the description. Also remember to subscribe and hit the notifications bell so you don't miss any of the lessons in the course. Okay, let's get into it. In this lecture, you'll learn what the different routing protocol types are. Our routing protocols can be split into two main types. That's our IGPs, which are our interior gateway protocols, and EGP, which is an exterior gateway protocol. Interior gateway protocols are used for routing within an organization. An exterior gateway protocol is used for routing between organizations over the internet. There are, well, there used to be legacy EGPs, but the only EGP that is in use today is BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. There are several different IGPs, though. Our different IGPs can be split into two main types, either distance vector routing protocols or link state routing protocols. We'll explain what the different ones are and which group they fall into coming up in a couple of slides. So in distance vector protocols, each router sends its directly connected neighbors a list of all its known networks along with its own distance to each of those networks. Distance vector routing protocols do not advertise the entire network topology. A router only knows its directly connected neighbors and the lists of networks those neighbors have advertised. It doesn't have detailed topology information beyond those directly connected neighbors. So because of this, distance vector routing protocols are often called routing by rumor. We can compare this with our link state routing protocols. In link state routing protocols, each router describes itself and its interfaces to its directly connected neighbors. That information is then passed unchanged from one router to another. Every router thus learns the full picture of the network, including every router, its interfaces, and what they connect to. Okay, so I know it's a subtle difference and it can be a bit confusing and I've seen lots of people that actually are confused with this on the internet and spreading misinformation. So let's break it down what the difference is. With our distance vector and our link state routing protocols, both of them only form an adjacency with directly connected neighbors. So if you think back to our lab topology before where we had R1, R2, and R3 in a row, R1 and R2 are going to talk to each other. And R2 and R3 are going to talk to each other and share information with each other. But R1 does not talk to R3 directly with the routing protocol. Okay, that's for both distance vector and for link state routing protocols as well. So both of them, the routers only share information with their directly connected neighbors. The difference is that with distance vector routing protocols, those updates are from the point of view of the neighbor. The neighbor says, I know about these networks and this is what my distance is to each of those. With link state routing protocols, the routers still talk to their neighbors, but they say, hey, these are all of the routers and their links that are in the network. And the information passes along unchanged. It does not get updated from the point of view of that router like it does with distance vector routing protocols. So with link state routing protocols, the routers have a full picture of the topology and they have a reputation of being able to make better routing decisions because of this, but link state routing protocols do put a bit more load on the router because it's got more information there. Okay, so let's take a look at what the different routing protocols they are and what type they fit into. So our IGPs are RIP, the Routing Information Protocol, EIGRP, the Enhanced Interior Gateway Routing Protocol, OSPF, which is open shortest path first, and ISIS, which is intermediate system to intermediate system. 
RIP and EIGRP are distance vector routing protocols and OSPF and ISIS are our link state routing protocols. And that's all the IGPs that there are that are in use today. EIGRP is a Cisco proprietary distance vector routing protocol. And it's got some really good advantages that we'll speak about later. And because it's proprietary, Cisco would like you to use it because then it locks you in to using purely Cisco devices. Now, like I said, it is a really good routing protocol, but distance vector routing protocols have got a bit of an inferior reputation as compared to link state routing protocols for the reasons that I just described. So Cisco don't want you to think of EIGRP as an inferior routing protocol, so they call it an advanced advanced distance vector routing protocol. However, to be honest, it's a distance vector routing protocol. It works the same way as RIP does. Cisco call it advanced because it's got more advanced metrics than RIP is. So it is a much better routing protocol than RIP. Again, as we get more into detail into the different routing protocols, I'll explain why that is later on. Okay, so that's our different IGPs. And as I said earlier, our one and only EGP that is used today is BGP, the Border Gateway Protocol. In the next several sections, I'll be covering the IGPs in depth. We'll get to BGP in a later section. With our IGPs, they all do the same job which is to advertise routes within an organization and determine the best path or paths to the different networks. So an organization will typically pick one of the IGPs. They all do the same job, so there isn't really any need to use more than one of them. Actually, using more than one of them is a bad idea. That does sometimes happen though, usually because of a merger or maybe just historical reasons. If that does happen, then information can be redistributed between the different routing protocols, but because they work in different ways internally, this can get a bit messy, so it's generally best to avoid that if possible. Okay, so that was our different routing protocol types. Let's have a quick look at this in the lab in the next lecture. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to get the complete course ad free right now, then you can enroll in my CCNA Gold Bootcamp by clicking the link above my head or in the description. It also includes full study notes, quizzes, and 150 pages of additional troubleshooting labs you can't find anywhere else.